Hello, everybody. Welcome to our Tuesday lunch chat. I'm Sarah. I'm the owner of Not Another Hat, joining you from my office. And I really want to give you guys a whole tour of the new layout that Jill and I started last Friday, Thursday, Friday. And then um, I finished over our closed days. But oh, I might hold off because in three to four weeks, we're having some new fixtures delivered and installed, and then some things will shift again. And so then I want to give you maybe like the, of the official tour when it's like really done, done. So um, I might wait, but I, if, if I can figure out the technology, I might pull my phone into the stream and go out and show you the sale table after we do our prize drawings. So um, yeah, we'll just see. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, Becca, we reversed it. We're really going to mess with people. <laughs> so now it, when you, <laughs> it goes the other direction from, um, from light to bulky now when you come in the door. So it looks really, really good though. Um, oh, I love mixing it up in the store. Um, I love making people take a second look at yarns. Like even when we had just got started Friday, Jill and I, I'd say we did like a third of, to a half of it. There were already people that are in the store all the time commenting like, oh, is that new? Did you just get that? Is that new? <laughs> like, nope. <laughs> You've just never seen it. Now it's in a new home. <laughs> Bulky knits by accident. Yeah, exactly. Um, this is just to trick people in general. Just all about the tricking. <laughs> Are you guys ready to do some price drawings? Yay! Okay, so 49 people turned in results from their 2021 Ravelry Challenge, which I think is pretty good. I think we had like 65 people submit um, submit a challenge goal at the beginning of the year. And so that's a pretty good, um, that's a pretty good response, I think. So we've got our list pulled up and, um, I put it in with comparison to what you, your, uh, what your goal was versus your actual. And we've got like a percentage over under. So before I get started, um, drawing prize names, Julia's going to help me with that. Um, I just want to give some shout outs to a few of our overachievers. Okay. So let me, let me just scroll through my list really quick. Um, so I'm calling anybody who did 150% of their goal an overachiever. So Jennifer Gardner, good job. Her goal was 24. She did 36. Um, let's see, where's my next one? Tracy Oliver, her goal was just to knit a sweater for herself. And she did four whole projects. So that's a 400% <laughs> overachievement. <laughs> Tracy's probably not watching this because I think she's hiking the Pacific Crest Trail right now. But yay, Tracy. Um, let's see. We've got next Pam Ogden, whose goal was 25. And she did 66 projects. Hello, Pam. That's amazing. Erica, Erica Close, way to go. Your goal was 24 and you did 45. That's 187 and a half percent overachievement. Awesome. <laughs> Erica, she says she's cutting in and out. Uh, hopefully it's not um, it's not our internet, but you never know around here. But congratulations if this is one of the moments you get to hear. Uh, nice work, Erica. Let's see, any other overachievers? I'm gonna also call out Jill Kiefer because she's at 148% of her goals. So her goal was 21 and she did 31. And if you haven't looked in the unraveled group at Jill's posts, Jill's projects are like serious projects, um, serious projects. She did multiple sweaters, multiple large shawls that take like four or five skeins of fingering. I mean, really, really her, I, I think her 148% overachievement is um, not depicting how much knitting Jill actually did. Um, so congratulations to you overachievers. Now, all of you underachievers, I'm not gonna call you out by name, but I just want you to know, I stand in solidarity. I also underachieved grossly in 2021. That's okay. It was a weird year. Some might say it was a crap year. There's a lot of things to be thankful for in 2021, but my knitting goals not being reached is not one of them. Um, 
I also didn't really set a very realistic goal. I set the same goal as I set the year before, and I didn't read it, reach it the year before either. So I'm bringing it down into a more realistic scope in 2022. So should we get to the prize drawings? All right. My helper, Julia, is at home, and she's got the random number generator all queued up and ready to go. And um, so what she's going to do is she is going to let me know what she gets as her... Um, what she's going to pick for a number. I got to make sure my notifications are on because I had them turned off. And then um, there we go. She's going to text that to me and then put it, put it in the comments as well, because um, I get the comments so delayed. It's easier if she texts it to me. <laughs> so let's talk about the first prize that everyone's entered in the prize drawings. You didn't have to meet your goal or anything like that. So we're drawn from everyone who submitted the results. And first prize up is, let me grab it. We have a whole collection of patterns right here. Um, there's just a whole chunk. There's some There's some church mounts. There's some olive knits. There's some um, assorted patterns from Bryson. So a whole bunch of patterns. And then we have a little adorable Cats and Coffee Cardi Bell Notions pouch. And two Jam PDX, oops, upside down. Jam PDX beautiful blue ceramic buttons. So Julia. Can you pick someone from the random number generator? And I will watch for the answer. Ooh, ooh. Oh man, I'm sorry that the internet might be um, cutting in and out. Um, that stinks. Okay, let's see. 46, 46, 46. Linda Kaufman. I just saw Linda last week. Woohoo, Linda Kaufman. Ah, this one's going to you. And let me just make a note of that in the spreadsheet so I don't lose track. Okay. All right, congratulations, Linda. Now the second prize up is, we have here an adorable little muslin cotton or um, project pouch with two skeins of knitted wit. We've got her fingering right here and her um, mohair silk blend, which I've just blanked on the name of. Mm. Um, bum, 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 bum. It's in here, hold on. They're already wound and ready to go. This is Fairy Floss. How could I forget that? Fairy Floss. Okay, so Fairy Floss is the mohair and then the fingering. And this is a kit to make the Shanna Jean Shawl by Shannon Squire from a collaboration between Knitted Wit and Shannon Squire Designs. So Julia, if you'll do your magic and give me your second winner for the Shanna Jean Shawl kit from Knitted Wit and Shannon Squire. Bum, 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 bum. Wow, I'm really sorry that the internet's really crappy right now. Four, who we got, who we got, who we got? Four, 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 Meredith Tasker. Congratulations, Meredith. You have won the Shanna Jean Shawl kit. Yay. Okay, and I will um, be shipping these all out to you guys. If for some reason I don't have your address, don't worry, I will get it um, get it from you. Oh, it sounds like this internet is really crappy. I'm sorry. Um, okay. Prize number three is another um, large cotton part project bag. And we've got three skeins here. We've got um, Blue Sky Alpaca Silk, a Mirasol Silka Legata, which is baby alpaca and silk also. And then a beautiful skein of Linares Abuelita. And Abuelita is a non-superwash Corydale. 100% Corydale, um, single ply fingering weight yarn. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And it has 422 yards. So three beautiful skeins for prize number three. Looks like Julie is queuing up a, um, <laughs> queuing up a winner. Uh, oh, 31. Here we go. 31. Erica! Woohoo! Erica Close, you are winner of no prize number three. Let me set that down in order and make a note. Three. All right. Congratulations, Erica. You really want, you deserved it with that 187%, I think it is. Yes. Good job. Good job. Um, okay. Prize number four is a Barocco kit. It's got three skeins of Remix Light in the really beautiful blue gray. Um, I'm not sure that color is really coming through accurately. It's a very beautiful color. It looks really dull from what I'm seeing this way, but at any rate, and it comes with the Barocco family 
pattern booklet, which I think has six patterns in it. So we've got the three skeins of Remix Light. That's 1,200 yards. That's a ton of yards. And the pattern booklet. So Julia is pulling me a number here from prize number four. I can't do a drum roll. <sighs> okay, 43, 43, 43. Michelle Jernstead. Woohoo, Michelle. Congratulations. Michelle Jernstead, you won the Remix Light um, prize. All right. Number five, we've got one more after this. Okay, prize number five is another assortment of patterns. It's just like a whole bunch of them. I'm not even sure how many there are in here. Looks like maybe eight patterns. And those are from Bryson. One of our, Bryson is my um, notion supplier. Like I get all my needles and notions from Bryson and they're in Eugene, Oregon, and they're fantastic. Um, and then we've got a 24 inch four Addy Rocket and these adorable, wrong side and right side stitch markers from Katrinkles. Can you see that? Aren't those cute? So let's see here. Who do we have for prize number five? 11. 11. Nope. Sorry, Julia. You're 11. <laughs> That's not going to work. <laughs> All right. Try again. <laughs> I forgot you were in the list, Julia. <laughs> For that matter, Jill's in the list too. Um, but we'll hope you don't pull Jill's next. So, okay, a few seconds while Julia gives us one more number here. Um, <laughs> cracks me up. <laughs> she doesn't know what the order of the list is. Okay, 23, 23. Elizabeth Certain. Congratulations, Elizabeth. You get our prize package with the patterns, the Addy Rocket, and the wrong side, right side stitch markers. Whew. So our last prize, our last prize is another prize from Barocco. This is four skeins of Dolce. Let me take it out of the plastic because it doesn't, it doesn't show so well. Oh, I love this yarn so much. Julia is knitting the Chiara or Chiara pullover, and I really want to start it too. I don't know if you can see all the different tones and colors in this, but so four skeins of this beautiful purple Dolce from Barocco, and then it's got the um, the Dolce. This is Chiara. This is what Julia is making. Um, it's got the pattern booklet for Dolce, which includes Chiara and like four or five other patterns. So this is our last prize drawing. Julia, who do we have for prize number six? Ding, 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 ding. I'm just do, 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 do. Number six is gonna be 29, Jen Scotello. Yay, Jen. <laughs> All right, that was really fun. Thanks for playing along with the prize drawings. Do you guys, do you wanna see the sale table? Do you wanna see if I can figure out how to do this? Um, you might have to bear with me for just a second if I can get the technology to work. Um, we will see. Uh, so basically what I'm trying to do is um, add in my phone as a guest stream, maybe. Enable camera. Let's go. Okay. Um. Okay, I'm hoping this is working. Okay, can you, I don't even know if I can see the comments doing this, but I'm walking over to the sale table. This could be a huge disaster, I have no idea. Let's see if we can turn it around, okay. Okay, so we've got one of the beautiful Nutrishawl kits. I cannot believe this hasn't sold yet. Um, this was one of our... ...all items. We just... And Scout! Scout is now in the sale. Um, we have a little bit of uh, Farm Twist from Tosh left. The cotton wood, the organic cotton, it's down to $2 now a ball. So really good. That's 25% off. And then Jill, 
we'll do your gin hand paint. And Zinnia is um, sweatshirt. Great deal. Wool pop. Baroque, I mean, uh, Manos Feliz. This is a great deal. I think it's. So um, this is what works. And this is 25% off now. And then Jill did a little baby beekeeper in it. And how adorable is that? So 25% off the Deluxe Tweed. Cambria is half off. That's from Barocco. Lang Lanello is half off. This is got some rub a dub half off and some cute little project or um, notions pouches. So, really good items in the sale. Score. for like a month from now um when the new fixtures are all installed so that's all i have for you guys i hope you have a lovely week full of lots of yarny goodness and i'll see you back